Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 33 of our Xerakin 2 Game of Thrones mod where we're playing as a chief high chiefess Yusila of Crosser Skip. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we finally got ourselves a land border in the Summer Isles. We managed to conquer the province of Lizard Head. So, yeah, we're now ready for our land invasion of this place, but the only thing stopping us right now is a truce uh, with this guy from Golden, uh, Golden Head, but... He should be... or he should not be able to live uh, really long. He's already 57, so he's quite uh, quite old. I just hope he's gonna die of old age anytime soon. And we are gonna be able to just start an invasion. Uh, and yeah, of course, when I'm just starting the game, the game decides to change all of the... all of the freaking... Uh, how they call them guardians of my children for no apparent reason. Oh there, I must be this child. Hmm. Yeah, by the way, we picked up ourselves a giant lover. <laughs> Literally. Uh, in the previous episode. So it would be nice if we we're actually pregnant from a giant. It would be really freaking nice. Uh arbitrary is not a trait for my daughter. Oh, it's really freaking laggy on the speed form. Once of Crosser Skip, blah blah blah. Do we have an army in here? We should have. Uh, could our giant actually lead armies? He should be able to, but I probably restricted him. Yeah, because I want he, uh, wanted him to train troops in some place. And let's actually go and probably send him to like... Lizard Head. Have you started working on barracks in here? No. Uh, let's go and start working on barracks in here. I'm gonna keep this place for myself uh, for now. And let's go and let these guys train troops in here. So maybe we're gonna be able to just use them uh, in our next war. And you guys just gonna go here. I was gonna give you a couple of leaders just in case. And we'll see how huge the rebellion gonna be. Only 200, so yeah. You're gonna be able to handle it relatively easy. Having many lives is that and fulfilling. So much love, so much desire, but so little time. I feel like I need to break up with someone. Totally not with my giant. This guy have achieved uh, this chiefdom, okay? So I'm just gonna break up with this guy. With Rick. Uh, who is uh, who's not even... L like, uh, not holding any titles, so... No real purpose to for me to keep him. My dear husband Len is suspicious of my pregnancy. He's here to ask me. He's such a baby. Wrap him around my finger. It's totally your child, even though he's like five meters tall. But it doesn't matter. It's just, just blood in your, of the giants in your ancestors' veins, for sure. Uh, could we capture you? Uh, okay, you're running really freaking quickly, which I do not like at all. Please just let me kill you and. Oh, as great shield breaker, my half sister, who is blind, or my half sister who is blind, now known as a shield breaker for some reason. Okay, uh, maybe I should just set this guy's my special interest to know when he's gonna die. Yeah, let's let's just do it, just in case. Okay, you stopped running. That's perfect. And actually now could see the army of giants in here. So let's see if they are like breeding at all. No, they just have like... They have eight giant in here. He have no family, no relations, no anything. They're probably just being created randomly uh, each time and that's about it. That's unfortunate that they don't have like families, dynasties. So I couldn't track them, track their agents or something. Not entirely sure how long could giants live. But I think they should be able to live like longer than uh, most people, right? At least like 200 years, maybe more. Okay, you go away. And what are we doing right now? Not much. Just waiting for this guy to die. We couldn't kill him, unfortunately, and... We also run low on money. Do we have any prisoners? Actually... Ah, uh, sh... Yeah, I always forget that this... 
peasant leaders are just uh, just be around my court, or maybe not. So he arrived in my uh, in my dungeons and he died immediately. So I didn't even manage to sell him to slavery, which is slightly annoying. Let's go and okay, we finished our barracks in here. Should speed up the reinforcement slightly, and yeah, let's go and look for our court. Find some prisoners for ourselves to to sell into slavery. Green sir of the hunted forest doesn't matter. As long as you're not my green sir, I'm gonna be trying to imprison you. Also, I'm not seducing anyone right now, so I should be working on this. In case you're tyranny, yeah, I already know all of that. My vassal, first trader of hard home, don't care. Dalla. There's a lot of Dallas in our in our court. I, I've heard this name like a lot of times already. Overseer of Hunted Forest. Don't care. And they actually have a pretty high chances. I don't know what it's based on. Probably because they're actually... Oh, my rival. Uh, because they are in the court of my vassals and my vassals actually increase in the chances of them being uh, uh, caught. Okay. So we should have like six people. Okay. Let's go and sell them all, and then I'm gonna start, uh, first of all... Uh, there's probably no reason for me to visit their chambers, considering that I'm already pregnant. I couldn't get pregnant twice, right? While I'm already having one. Uh, maybe some better prices, at least. The six prisoners is not that many, so... It would be really nice to have some decent cash from them, so I wouldn't need to imprison anyone else for quite a while. Okay, never mind. Yes, they're not that cost, uh, worth... Not that worth it. Oh! 225! For some Dalla. And we actually have two Dallas in our prison. Okay, that should pay for a lot of... Or sh uh, I should be able to, uh, to spend this money a long time. 75, even better. Or not better, but it's awesome. I just don't know what I'm talking about. Just need money. Give me all the money you have and I... and let me continue my expansion. Please. I'm only gonna accept 15 from now on because we're already up to 400 ducats and we don't really need much else. Mm-hmm. Come on. And also, we probably should try to look for some more giants in our court. I don't know if, there, if it's possible for me to track them down. Probably just f look for this thing. This guy's already my lover. No, we don't have any more lovers. Do we have any more vassals who... Who would need to be... Oh! Look at this! A daughter was born to High Chief Tissi Silas and Faithful and High Chief Len. <laughs> Len, this is totally your child. Don't, don't question me. Just has your face, has your everything. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and High Chief Len of Hauted Forest, named. I guess I'm not gonna even rename you. So she, uh, it's it's even she. Yeah, uh, she's strong. Unfortunately. She's not in, in, or she is in the line of succession, but she's like my fifth born. She's gonna be problematic to make her into my successor, but it would be really freaking useful. Wildling plus strong, it, it, it's just gonna be perfect. But... Hmm. How could I make you into my successor? I could try... Could I try to kill my children? I, I could actually imprison them. But I already spent so much time uh, educating them, so it's probably gonna be a waste. But okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Uh, because it's, it's really freaking awesome. I didn't know you could make children with giants, but now it's confirmed. Or actually, technically, your father is Len, but we all know that it's... Uh, uh, okay, 
we got some invasion, but look at this. Why on earth new gift, which is supposed to be the power of Night's Watch, is now the vassal of uh, Dorn? How on earth this happened? I don't know. But I think it should be encoded into the game that like none of the holdings, uh, none of these holdings could be controlled by n uh, no one by Night's Watch or Bad Night's Watch. So I think it should come back uh, soon. While walking along the side of the river, uh, let's let's yeah push you into the water because I'm a mean girl. Okay, I want more children with a giant. If only I knew that it's gonna be a possibility, I'm gonna be... I would be just making out only with you. Mm -hmm. My daughter Mira has a tender and loving soul. Yeah, kind is a fine trait. Mm -hmm. This guy is still alive. Age of 58. Unfortunately, blind from age, not giving him any health uh, penalty, so... Unfortunately, not increasing the chances of him dying. And yes, this guy just arrived at my court. Even though he's a freaking... Oh, yeah! I would need to, like, execute him because he's a deserter. So, first of all, I'm just gonna imprison you. And sell into slavery, as we do with the... Uh, with the torn coats, or whatever you, you're called. I couldn't even check the straight anymore. 75 ducats. Sounds great. And I've actually had an ambition to amass wealth. I didn't know that. Yeah, and then you're gonna get executed. Next ambition. Become a higher lord. High chief to Cecilia rank is higher than duke. Uh, it's gonna be a long way to reach it, so you're probably not gonna be able to do this. You want to have a son. You want to become exalted among men. Yeah, it actually might be possible to, uh, to get 2000 prestige, I think. Mm-hmm. God damn it, you look beautiful. Oh, you really? You're gonna have like... Oh, you even... You even rebelling in the province I already have troops on. And this girl gains two stewardship. My second born, I would assume. Right? Yeah, she's actually turning out to be probably better than my firstborn even. Because this one has no stewardship, and it would be really nice to have some. Could I actually plot to imprison my firstborn? I could. Could I execute her one while she imprisoned? Probably. So we, we will wait for these guys, for these girls to become 16, and then I would decide which one I want to be my heir. And probably try to get like some heals done, <laughs> some nasty things. Uh, how's this guy looking? Still alive, okay. No, I don't need help with managing my titles. And you, yeah. Kind is a fine trait. And even though you don't really have much other traits, you still have ma uh, Marshal of Six. This girl, another one, Mira. It's my third or fourth born. Uh, just gonna be grooming everyone for command. 64 ducats is... Hmm, let's just give you... Ah, I'm just gonna give them all exceptional education, because who knows? They could always become just my next heir if something... If something strange would uh, happen. Okay, why is this guy still leading armies? You're still in this stupid war. Why is it taking you so freaking long? I don't know. Oh, also... Huh. There is also the like Silk Road mechanics implemented into the into this mod, so that's interesting. So these people could like uh, build trade posts because they're on the trade route. That's interesting. Uh, unmarried heir. Okay, so our firstborn could now be married. Unfortunately, I could. Uh, mm, what I could do instead of just killing all of my children to become. This girl, uh, to make her into my heir, I could just, when I'm gonna inherit, start seducing the giant right away. 
and make babies with him. And then uh, it's gonna ensure that I'm gonna have uh, the giant heir. So yeah, that's might be the thing I'm gonna do. So you need a marriage to be assigned. Uh, have the guy of pretty much the same age as you. So yeah, no one really have like any genetic traits in here. So no one to choose from. Yeah, let's just give you this guy. Matrilineal marriage. And everything should be fine. Also, I wonder what kind of education you would receive. We'll see. Come on, Jaramoga, could you please just die? We need to invade your lands. We have a truce with you. For seven more years, I really don't want to truce break, because even though it's gonna only tend my opinion with some Rowlanders, but it's it's gonna force me to lose a lot of prestige, which is not necessary right now. Also, I could build some more violent barracks in here. I wonder if it's gonna actually be, uh, be, be bad for me that I'm plopping down all of these violent barracks, because at some point I would need to get rid of these holdings. And I wonder if it's gonna make my vassals a little bit too powerful. Also, we're not seducing anyone right now. And this is not right. Do we have any vassals in here that need to be seduced? This guy is my lover. This guy is my lover. And here we have... Why do I have so many girls in charge of all of these holdings? It's not... Not appropriate. Maybe like the city people? Minus 100, it's gonna be hard. Minus 100. Yeah, can't really do much. And no, let's, let's just go and try to seduce this one. Just to... Just because we don't have anything else to do. Oh, so really we had, we like spent already 50 buckets, buckets of ducats just sitting? Hmm, okay. This guy's 59. Chances are still the same. I'm having a hard time to blah blah blah. Yeah, there is no rush, just, just try to do what you can. And let's look at our giant person again. Yeah, it doesn't show us I have a child with me. But Laura, or whatever her name was, Mora, is totally a child of a giant. And she even have like, slightly different picture uh, for her face, like a childish face, so that's quite cool. Uh, your daughter Mira always follows the rules, so she could become honorable. Minus two intrigue. Uh, actually, no. Minus two trick. I would like you to be also focused on seduction. So, that's probably not gonna be useful. Monthly pipes, general opinion, leash opinion, same trade opinion. Now, I, I'd rather you to be <laughs> become deceitful, probably. I'm having a hard time, yeah. That's not a surprise. Also, now that we already... Now the giants don't really breed in their natural habitat. We could uh, get the boats back into the port. And this guy's just been annoying. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. Excuse me? What the fuck just happened? Um, King Aena Targaryen now rides Rhaegal into the battle. Can you please explain how this guy became the King of the Iron Throne? A second ago, Dorn been pressing their claim. And now there's Targaryen on throne who is also a dragon rider. What the heck? Um, and he already have a son who is... He, what? Mm-hmm. Have they been pressing the claim of this guy? Because I've I've not been reading about that. But yeah, the nearest Targaryen been living in court of the rich. And probably so her son, and he had like a claim on Iron Throne. And Dorn plus Rich managed to press his claim, I would assume. Let's go and check it out. History of this place. Uh Tommen. 
conquered this girl, inherited, and this guy conquered his claimant. Yeah, so they totally been pressing his claim. And now that he's a dragon rider, that's actually a pain in the butt. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to... ...to attack him. Freaking Targaryens are on charge again. That's never happened before. Legitimate bastard. Any chance I could kill you? 37%. God damn it, I want to become a dragon rider. Uh, oh well. Doesn't concern me much. But still quite disappointing. And yeah, by the way, new gift. I uh, just got transferred back to the Night's Watch. There is no rush for sure. And it's actually already time for me to have a break, guys. This guy is still alive, unfortunately, so we didn't manage to declare any wars this turn. But we received ourselves a child from a giant, which is also quite cool. Uh, and my daughter is already 15, so she's gonna get her education soon. So, But for now, yeah, it's time for me to have a break, guys. So I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna continue in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should have to do it. And I would answer you as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.